Good morning everybody. Uh, welcome to Four Kids on a Farm. Uh, today I wanted to talk about these guys. Our painted desert sheep. Um, well, they're shy. <laughs> oh, here they come back. We've been getting a, a few questions and comments about our hair sheep. I just want to talk a little bit why we chose them as the breed that we wanted on our farm. It is cold and wet and foggy here at Four Kids on a Farm. These are pig, these are goats. Painted desert sheep, painted desert sheep. And we have a small herd of six over there. We basically picked the painted desert sheep because they're hair sheep. We wanted a breed of sheep that we don't have to shear them at all. They're double coated and so in the winter they'll grow a, a secondary coat and they get nice and fluffy and then in the spring they start to shed that. Less chores is a always a good idea. Uh, we haven't dewormed ours in a year. We, we've tried to manage their pasture so we don't have to worry about worming them at all. Um, we do vaccinate, we give a TD and T, but otherwise we, we do very little. Um, if you saw the birthing video, we'll link that up there, um, of Noel, they really take no care. The other lambs that we've had, we've come home from running errands and uh, we've come back to a surprise lamb. Oh, my wife's gonna hate this shot. Oh. They're a little bit flighty. Um, you know, we try to be out here with them as much as we can, so they're not like cute and cuddly like the pigs or you see any random noise. We're getting some road base down right now. So, because they're flighty, that's kind of the downside to them, is when we have to clip their hooves, or if we have to worm them or give them an injection, oh, <laughs> run away. We have to like linebacker tackle them to get it. So, we're trying to work on that and just like socializing them a little bit more. We'll bucket train them and... <laughs> Mr. Pantaloons. So I'm making a fuss over there. We have two rams. This one's name is Gimli. And the other one's name, the white with uh, the spots over on the other side, is Elrond. We got a Lord of the Ring theme going on. So we have just the two rams for breeding purposes. We actually made a little bit of a husbandry mistake. And you can see that lamb in the back. This is, that's Elsa. That is Elrond's daughter. So we should have moved her sooner because they shouldn't get pregnant until they're after eight months old and she's eight months old right now. So, um, like I said, bad husbandry on our part. A little bit incestuous, but she will have a beautiful baby. She's probably due in a, a month or so. These guys are 10 out of 10 beautiful as far as I'm concerned. Uh, they taste delicious, 10 out of 10. They're not going to be the pets of your farm. Those are kind of our little goats. But they are fun to have. They are great weed and grass eaters. And you can see on our like tree line of those eucalyptus how they just get everything within reach. So we, once we get more grass growing here, we plan on moving them really frequently. We like this breed. You know, we did some research and this is what we wanted and they have worked out perfectly for us. So you guys, if we miss something or if you have questions that we didn't answer, please put those in the comments and uh, give us a follow. Like and subscribe and ring the bell and we are thankful to do this. This is fun for us and we are always uh, looking for new things to video here on our farm. 